So here I am just finishing off dinner. This is, it's still cooking. It's chicken Manchurian and it smells really, really nice. I have to still reduce the, the sauce and the brown bits on the chicken are just, you know, soy sauce and sort of when the chicken was browned, there's a pepper. Um, so the sauce has to reduce, but as you can see, there's lots and lots of beautiful vegetables. And of course, my pineapple, my favorite, and peas and carrots. And my style of cooking is, it's usually been, if I have a style um, with cooking, is do the best you can with what you have. And this is especially, I think, pertinent uh, and applicable during uh, a pandemic when, you know, you, you definitely want to limit your... Uh, contact with the outside world as much as possible. So I have some peas and carrots in there. Uh, I just put in whatever vegetables I have. I hope to have peppers and I, I definitely need pineapple for this recipe. But there you go. That's cooking and it should be done within, I don't know, maybe another half hour. Um, today what I'm going to do actually, or focus on in today's episode, is I'm going to focus on some I'm going to try to do a very short little pastel painting and I will show you that um, but before and uh, on my Facebook page I've shown some of these I actually have an, uh, an art gallery on Facebook and um, I featured these before um, and this one here is a pastel I did several years ago it's a rep my you know my replication actually of Ophelia and uh, we can see I'm just gonna do a bit of a close-up so we can see um, the window and we can see this is a close-up uh, of her face and uh, it's it's a kind of like a violet colored dress she's wearing um, with this kind of scarf like um, something auburn hair and uh, I'll just show you a few more I also have um, hi Scooby I love you baby I have this one, which is a completely, completely different um, type of style, and it's certainly not finished, but it is um, a Bollywood uh, painting. So um, I have the dancer here. I really have to finish more of her skirt, um, but the focus here, of course, is the gold, the veil, her face, her arms, and um, I'm somewhat proud of the background of the... Um, female dancers and this is supposed to be a fountain so we have that and then finally this one this is a painting of the Empress Josephine um, it's an actual oil painting but I have rendered it in in uh, pastels not oil pastels but soft pastels and uh, this is the Empress and these are her ladies in waiting and uh, I'll show at some point if I can find it I will show the actual painting um, this one I did several years ago I, th I believe I was a grad student at the time or maybe even before then so in the distance we can see the the swan and this is like the foresty background and the sun setting and I'll do sort of some some kind of a close-up of the women so you can see the style is very impressionist, uh, very loose. My goodness, the faces were very difficult actually to do. Quite difficult, I wouldn't say impossible, but quite difficult. And um, here we have these the ladies in waiting. And the whole painting I have done in um, pastels. So I really like pastels because I find, especially for human figures, um, you know, to do humans, uh, they're very much, they give you a lot more control than painting, even acrylic painting. I love acrylic painting for landscapes, but for people, I think I, I do prefer um, the pastels. So anyways, there you go. I have a lot more, but I thought I'd just show these three. And today I'm going to sit down and do a very small, simple painting with pastels. Okay, so the chicken Manchurian I was showing you before is done. It looks absolutely amazing, I think, if I do say so myself. And uh, you can see it's turned into a very good thick sauce. 
And the other thing I wanted to say is that I do, there are, there is chicken, obviously this is not a vegetarian dish, but you can see it's about 70% vegetables and fruit and um, maybe 30% uh, meat. Uh, so very healthy, very veg vegetable laden. Now, the wonderful cameraman has also made this beautiful milkshake. So that will be definitely something to relish. Thank you. Today what I am going to do is I'm going to try to do a painting and I haven't done pastel paintings for a while. I mean I did one a few months ago on this channel. Um, I think the, the drawing is horrible but the cameraman assures me. It's beautiful. He says it's okay. So I, st I did start a little bit today so if the cameraman can please come here. Not do a close-up of me, but do, yeah, that's cool. That's good enough. I don't want too close. They're beautiful. Thank you. Okay, so, no, no, if you can stay there, yes. So I'm going to do my best. This is the chickadee, or these are the chickadees. And what I have is gray. This is good quality, and you, it's something you can get at specialty uh, artist stores like Wallach's or maybe Michael's. Not necessarily Walmart anymore. So it's a pastel uh, first you know, pastel paper, I should say, for, um, it's got different colors uh, to do pastel work. So anyways, I'm going to just do very, very basic. This is not the quality of um, a painting. I it's have my black. It's a Yeah. So I'm just going to do a little bit just to give the basic idea of how fun it can be to get... So, so what I've done is I've taken the black and I again I have to go over this during in the day light this isn't very good light but it's just to show again how nice and how much fun it can be to work with pastel so I have my white chalk here and I'm just going to be doing some of the breasts and this is when these paintings or pictures start coming to life As you can see, and I think there was another one. This is a light brown color for the underbelly. That's beautiful. Thank you. How just putting plain pastels on this colored paper how your work can come to life by doing that now it's it's pretty much impossible to do this in such a short amount of time I'm just doing snowflakes I I think hopefully is coming to life and I will just end it there oh. okay Try to knock. when the table was being shown so this is basically the bird that I came up with, and we can compare it, oh, sorry for the reflection, we can compare it to this bird. Um, it's very rudimentary, I'm not, I'm not thinking this is my, my best drawing or painting. It's the very best I've ever seen. Okay, there's my camera person. Um, but anyways, I'll leave it here, at least you can see, and I just wanted to explain what I did when I was, um, when, it, when I was being filmed, I did take the green, I'll just show the green pastel here. I was taking this and I was just making the branches, very, very basic branches, um, you know, no shadow or anything, just, just to get the look and the feel of this. And I was taking the white pastel and I was just making little dots for the snow. So there you go. Um, very good job. Okay, so I hope that was helpful. I hope that was fun. Um, Definitely when, interesting. Thank you. So when I was in high school, one day I remember our art teacher had carnations and she had not roses but really simple flowers like carnations 
and so forth. I don't think she had daisies. I think they were all different colored carnations and she had our colored pencils out and she said, try to draw this. And we did and we were in high school and it was just fun experimenting with colors on paper. And so this is basically what I was just trying to and show you. you become an amazing artist. Thank you. So it's something anybody can do. Birds are a little hard, but flowers are probably a great first project. So uh, what I wanted to say again was I get a lot of joy from art, from drawing, from painting. And I think it's something that anybody can try. And these days there's something called paint night that you can do with groups of uh, friends or strangers or whatever. And it's something I've always wanted to do actually. It sounds like a lot of fun. But the idea being that painting and artwork is getting more and more popular. And I think they have them online now during the pandemic or something similar. So anyways, thank you for watching. I will talk to you. Roly Poly just went by. I'll talk to you. No, it's okay. It's okay. I will talk to you soon. And stay tuned and stay blessed and stay well. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.